From the ends of the earth, from the depths of the sea, to our secret place, come be with me. From the ends of the earth, from the depths of the sea, to our secret place, come. From the ends of the earth, from the depths of the sea, to our secret place, come be with me. From the ends of the earth, from the depths of the sea, to our secret place, come be. Till you come close, no, my heart will not let go until you come close, come close. No, my heart. Till you come close, come close. No, my heart will not let go until you come close. From the ends of the earth. From the depths of the sea to our secret place, come be with me. From the ends of the earth, from the depths of the sea to our secret place, come be with me. Oh, my heart will not. Till you come close, no, my heart will not let go until you come close, come close. Oh, I'm moving towards you. Choose your word Following you, God Take me on the straight and narrow I won't look to the right or the left Hold my hand and walk beside me
up in me and the spirit. Lift me up in your spirit. Take me up in the spirit. Show me mysteries. Spirit of revelation. Spirit of wisdom. Spirit of truth. You hold 
trace the lines of my fingerprints Counted my days before I knew them Precious thoughts for me more than the sands And my name is written on you
constantly pops out when you read the scripture that says something to the extent of I will be their God and they will be my people and there's this theme from Genesis to Revelation of God's heart wanting to be with us to dwell with us and to be our God and you see that when you zoom out all the way throughout even in the Old Testament you see God dwelling in a temple dwelling in the tabernacle which then turns into the temple and there's this this vulnerability to God where he's the infinite creator of the universe but because his goal is to dwell with us he's willing to make himself vulnerable to brick and mortar into a building simply so that he could get his goal and you would think that the creator of the universe dwelling with us would, would gain our obedience but instead if you read the Old Testament the Israelites were nothing but idolaters they were worshiping everything except God they wanted to craft gods that they could make with their own hands not the one that was uncontrollable Yahweh and, and, and so even throughout that though God constantly relentlessly pursues them and goes after them and, and after hundreds of years he finally gets to the point where he says my goal is still to dwell with my people instead of retreating I'm actually gonna go deeper and there's this little period of silence and then Jesus shows up on the scene and in John chapter 1 it says the word became flesh and dwelt among us that word dwelt in Greek literally can mean tap so it's saying that Jesus tabernacled among us or Jesus pitched his tent with us. And so God constantly is coming down farther and farther, making himself more and more vulnerable to the point where he now walks among us. He now is hungry, tired, he's sad, he can be happy, he, he grieves, he, he cries, and this God is now one of us. And you would think again that it, with him walking among us that we would then bow down and worship him like he rightfully deserves. But instead it says that he came to his people and his people knew him not to the extent where we actually kill him. We crucify him and put him on the cross and say, we don't want you here. You would think at that point, God would finally say and snap his fingers and say, fine, it's all over. I want nothing to do with you guys anymore. See you later. This has only caused pain, grief, hurt, and ache. But no, no, instead he says, no, no, my goal is still the same. My goal is to dwell with my people. So he resurrects in new life. And then it says he actually sends his spirit to dwell in us. I mean, it doesn't get much more vulnerable than that, that God is now dwelling in us. It says we can quench the very spirit of God. And so it's almost as if the scripture is this stairway down from heaven of God getting closer and closer and closer to be with his people. It even says in Revelation that we don't need a temple because he becomes our very dwelling place. And there's this promise in Isaiah 11, I believe, that actually promises of the end times when everything is fully restored and renewed. It says that at the end of time, God God's glory will cover the earth the way the waters cover the sea. And, and I, I, it's kind of a cute and kind of a, a quaint verse, but when you really think about it, it's kind of weird, right? I mean, like, water doesn't cover the sea, water is the sea. I mean, if you try to go and take out the water from the sea, you just took out the sea also, right? And what I think God's trying to say there is that his glory at the end of time, he will get his goal so much, it'll be so linked 
with earth and with us, they'll be so close together that you actually can't separate the two. If you pull one out, you pull the other one out as well. And so God's glory will cover the earth the way the waters cover the sea. So the question is, is that the finish line for us? Because that's where God's going. So is our life on that trajectory? Do you see the scripture primarily as something that you have to earn for God or a ladder that you have to climb in obedience to God? Or do you see the scripture primarily about a God who is making himself vulnerable to dwell with his people? Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out AD on NBC. It's incredible. That's where we shot this video on site in Morocco. Also, I got to give a huge shout out to our sponsor, Audible. This month's book of the month I'm recommending is Grace and Truth Paradox by Randy Alcorn. It probably only takes... How good is that? The pearl of great price You gave the greatest price to get I'm your prize, it blows my mind The one that you lost And you'd do anything to find I am the sheep who went astray And you left everything to find me I am the son who lost his way You waited patiently and when you saw me You ran and grabbed me to bring me home Eternal In your eye The one that you lost And couldn't bear to lose You are my father I'm your child The one that you lost And you'd do anything to find Eternal
praise Him, praise Him, all you little children. He is love, He is love. Praise Him, praise Him, all you little children. He is love, He is love. Love Him, love Him, all you little children. He is love, He is love. Love Him, love Him, all you little children. He is love, He is love.
Come out of hiding, you're safe here with me. There's no need to cover what I already see. You've got your reasons, but I hold your peace. You've been on lockdown, and I hold the key. Cause I loved you before, you knew it was the love And I saw it all, still I chose the cross And you were the one that I was thinking of When I rose from the grave Now read up the shackles, my victory is yours I tore the veil for you to come close There's no reason anymore you're not far from home and I'll be your lighthouse when you're lost at sea and I will illuminate everything no need to be frightened by intimacy no just Keep on coming And oh, as you run What hindered love Will only become Part of the story And oh, as you run What hindered love Will only become Part of the story And oh, as you run